Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Connor. And welcome to Her World. Thank you. Today, Connor, we are going to do a craft that is actually inspired by your brother. You mean Chase? Uh-huh. Chase did this? <laughs> well, he didn't actually do this, but he inspired this craft. Uh -huh. We were at a party a couple years ago, and we were making some projects with CDs. And Chase said to me, Sophie, have you ever made a hovercraft out of a CD, a water bottle top, and a balloon? So, got me thinking. So I went back to the warehouse and I started playing with his idea. And I've modified it just a bit, but I thought it'd be fun to make one today. It would. You're okay. So you want to try it? Sure. Okay. So first thing we're going to need is we need a CD. Now, don't use one that uh, has your mom or dad's favorite music on it. Make sure that it's an old CD that you've got lying around the house. We've also got a spool. And I like to use these short, stubby ones that you can get at a craft store. You're going to need a button, and the button needs to have at least two big holes in it. You can have four, which is always good. And then you're also going to need a balloon. Now, we're going to use a hot glue gun today. So I'm going to use it, even though I know you're old enough to use one. It's always good to have adult supervision when Excellent. using hot glue guns because they're very hot, and it wouldn't be good if you burn yourself. Exactly. And we don't want to have any burned fingers today, do we? No, not really. Okay, so I'll do the button part just because it's a little smaller. And what I'm doing as I'm doing this, Connor, is I'm trying to keep my glue outside of those holes because I'm going to take this button and I'm going to line it up over top of the hole in the CD so that the holes can be seen through the hole in the CD. <laughs> now, I also want to check and make sure that I don't have any squidgies on the back side here because, believe it or not, that little bit of squidgy will catch as it's hovering. So now we're going to need our spool. And we're going to take our spool and we're going to put a little line of glue on the outside. I'm going to let you do this part. <laughs> and again, we're being very careful not to get the glue in the hole. And when you put this down, you want to make sure that that glue doesn't get into the little holes over top of your button. Good. Excellent. So now, that's it. You've got a hovercraft. Wow, that was easy. But we need one more thing. We need... A balloon. Exactly, because we need our power. You don't want to blow into it. Exactly. Now, I made one here, too. So we're each going to blow up a balloon. So here's one for you. Ready? Should we have a little contest to see oh. who can blow up faster? Ready? One, two, three, go. Now, because we want to put our balloon on top here as our motor, we're going to give it a little twist twice while we are putting it on top. So the air doesn't escape. Exactly. That one. Right. Now, uh, once it's on there, you can untwist and pinch. So I'm going to let it untwist, but I'm still pinching it. Because once it's undone, it's going to float. Now, would you like to have a little race? Oh, I would love that. All right. And your mark? Gets it? Go. For fast pace and air raising ideas, go to sophie-world.com. Want to race again? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm.